What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this edition of ONW Now. I'm Molly Murphy alongside Brady Armstrong. On Monday, ONW broke a state record at our blood drive by donating 256 units of blood. Great job, guys. Let's go to ONW Now reporter Jack Brentano for more. Last Tuesday, Olathe Northwest had its biannual blood drive hosted by Stuco. This year, the turnout was quite amazing. It's a tradition here at ONW, and this time around we have over 300 donors, and this is the biggest thing that we've ever, ever done, and we're excited for a great, successful day. The blood drive requires a lot of behind-the-scene work leading up to the big day. The biggest thing about blood drive is probably recruiting um, and gathering volunteers. Actually, this year um, we had about 150 volunteer slots to fill, um, about like 20 business donations to secure. Um, so it's a lot of work, um, just kind of like networking with people and really encouraging people to donate. For ONW Now, I'm Jack Quintana. Now back to the desk. Thank you, Jack. On Monday, ONW also held a talent show in order to raise money for Project Grad. Many seniors and teachers brought their talent to the stage. Here's Caitlin Lawson with the details. This Monday was the first ONW senior talent show featuring several seniors and ONW staff. The talent show was a fun night put together to benefit Project Graduation. The show had 13 acts including performances by the senior basketball players and Mrs. Boyer the DeCapo Choir Seniors and many more. The ONW Drumline kicked off the night on a good note with their surprise opening performance. The crowd erupted with laughter for Mr. Kyder and Mr. Brandstrom's comedy skit. Why am I jiggling more than you? I don't know. <laughs> I think this going to support me. Woo! Everyone was moved by the beautiful voice of Mrs. Williamson, our choir teacher. I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship blown from its morning by a wind off the sea. Mr. McNanny shocked everyone with his impressive imitation of Gangnam Style with ONW senior men and cheerleaders. Open Gangnam Style! And who could forget the football players singing Justin Bieber's Baby. Thanks to everyone who made the night possible. You put on a great show, Ravens. For ONW Now, I'm Caitlin Larson. Wow, we sure have a lot of talented Ravens. Tuesday, our school hosted the annual Olathe Youth Congress Convention, where over 150 students came together to discuss a resolution for the year. Let's go to Elena Gray for more news on the event. The annual Olathe Youth Congress was held at Olathe Northwest on Tuesday, November 6th. We really hope that we're going to have a good outcome with a good resolution and that it will be something that we can work on throughout the rest of the year. The Youth Congress brings together kids from elementary and middle school to work together and decide on a resolution for the year. The options for a resolution include save the polar bears, visit the elderly, recycle, and raise awareness for cancer. Teaching them new skills that they will be able to use in any future job that they will ever have, especially the senators who have to get up there and talk in front of a big group of people, and uh, interviews it will help any time you're ever going to have to present in front of anyone. It's a good way to learn teamwork as well for the representatives here today. In the end, the Olathe Youth Congress decided their resolution would be to raise awareness for cancer. For ONW Now, I'm Elena Gray. Now back to the desk. Thank you, Elena. Next week, the school musical Fiddler on the Roof will be performed November 15th, 16th, and 17th. Be sure to support your fellow Ravens by going to see it. Let's go to Katie Halterman with the story. 
It's time for ONW's fall musical, and this year the show is Fiddler on the Roof, starring Wyatt McCall, Haley Thompson, Alex Womack, Dalton Bowman, and Dalton Edlin. The story takes place in pre-revolutionary Russia in a small Jewish village where tradition is most important. However, the family of Jewish man Tevye is breaking all traditions by marrying off his daughters to men outside of faith. It is adapted from the 1964 musical and book by Joseph Stein. This year, over 60 students are acting in Fiddler, and they've been rehearsing since late September. I really like this one scene called The Dream. It's very creepy, and it's hilarious, and the ensemble just does like really cool stuff. So you guys should be excited for that. I'm excited for the audience to see a full show. It's like a show of, there's huge dance numbers, and there's, um, there's big singing numbers, and it's funny, it's dramatic, and it teaches a lesson about family and it teaches a lesson about traditions and whether or not you want to keep with those traditions or whether you want to rise above to something more innovative or you just want to stay with what you know. Don't let all of their hard work go to waste. Go see Fiddler on the Roof next week on November 15th, 16th, and 17th. Tickets are $8 at the door and you can also buy them online. Thanks, Katie. Let's take it to Scott Chasen and Blake McFarland for Game Day Northwest. <laughs> Welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Blake McFarland alongside Scott Chasen. Today we're going to recap all the fall sports seasons at Olathe Northwest. The girls volleyball team had a great season this year with a new head coach, Barry Lenth. They ended the season with a record of 27 and 16, losing to Olathe South in sub-state. This year's young team had only one senior player, Christy Fangman. Great season, ladies. Looking forward to next year. The Olathe Northwest Lady Ravens golf team finished second in the Sunflower League. Senior Cassie Wong finished third in individual, and Audrey Judd finished first. In state, Audrey Judd also finished first, whereas Cassie Wong finished ninth. The Ravens next year will return Audrey Judd, Chloe Cowart, and Chloe Krause. Congratulations on a great season, Ravens. The Lady Ravens tennis team ended their season with a fourth place finish at the Sunflower League. As a team and as individuals, they won two quad tournaments. The number one doubles team consisted of Kylie Proctor and junior Tessa Zhu. The record was 14 and 8, and the number one singles player was senior Haley Egan with a record of 8 and 6. The varsity boys soccer team kicked off the season with a win against DeSoto High School. After losing 12 seniors from last year, holding mid Ben Novin states that it was a rebuilding season with only 8 seniors to lead the team. This year's seniors returners are Frankie McLeansbro, James Miller, Ben Novin, Sean Finn, Dalton Jorns, Jacob Lacan, Brian Clark, and newcomer Zach Willis. They led the team full of juniors and sophomores to a progressive season. Zach Willis stated that the leaders on the team played a big part in bringing the team together and keeping them strong throughout the games. The boys went in the first round of regionals with high hopes, but came up short against Garden Edgerton. The overall record for the team was six wins, two ties, and nine losses. The ONW cross country team finished the season with a bang, placing in over four of their meets. As Sunflower League champs, the varsity women qualified for state, where they placed fourth out of 12. The Raven men had a good season as well, which included sending sophomore Raven, Aaron Taylor to state where he finished 36th overall. Freshman Raven Cameron Geldner finished 7th in the state, making her the best placing freshman in the Sunflower League. Here's to a great se season, Ravens. The Raven football team saw their 2012 campaign end a few weeks ago, but they certainly put on a show for the Raven faithful. Holden Halpern emerged as a top quarterback in the Sunflower League, throwing for over 2,000 yards and 9 touchdowns. The passing attack was phenomenal as Nathan Power, Chase Gitlin, and Manny Sihontas were all top 10 in the Sunflower League for receiving yards, combining for nearly 1,600 to go along with six touchdowns. The running game turned out to be a big strength, as senior running back Alex Proust would go for 900 yards and seven touchdowns. The Ravens' defense struggled at times, but Alex Durr was a pillar of consistency with over 70 tackles, and Connor Holsinger wreaked havoc in the backfield with three sacks and numerous tackles for a loss. Overall, it was a very fun season for the Ravens in 2012. Congratulations to all fall sports teams on their successful seasons, and good luck to everyone trying out next week for a winter sport. Now, back to the news desk. Thanks, Scott and Blake. That's all we have for you for this edition of ONW Now. For Molly Murphy, I'm Brady Armstrong. Have a fantastic Friday, Ravens.